Update. AITA for dancing half naked in my living room leading to my BF and his family seeing me? I saw a lot of messages and comments wanting an update so here it is. I'm sorry if I didn't get to your message. There were so many of them so I thought I'd make a post instead. I got a little overwhelmed. TL. DR. You guys were right. I am NTA. I used your advice and moved out. After confronting Nate about his behavior. After reading what everyone wrote I quickly realized that what Nate did was so so wrong. A lot of great moms in the comments also helped me understand the fact that even conservative moms, like Nate's, wouldn't react so rudely. It hit me like a wave when I realized what my life had come to. I didn't say anything to Nate about the post but he must have figured out that I was upset at him. I was doubting our relationship and pulling away from him. He started talking to me again and for a day I didn't really say anything. But I knew I had some decisions to make. I genuinely didn't believe I would get so many responses telling me I was NTA so this was I. Opening for me. So a few days after I made the post I told Nate that we needed to talk. I said that I would be staying with my friend until I felt comfortable around him. He didn't know what I was referring to. Which just made me angry because how can he forget a fight that big? And I told him I was upset with how he treated me after the whole, your family walking in on me. Incident. I also mentioned how I shouldn't have to wait for him to be away to dance. Bake or listen to One Direction just because he doesn't like it. He tried convincing me to stay but I left. I think he knew I wouldn't let this go like the other things. Thanks to you guys. Yesterday I asked him to meet me at a cafe so we could have a conversation about everything that happened. Nate cried. Like for the first time ever since I have known him. He apologized. Told me he messed up. And that he would change because he realized his mistakes now. I told him I wanted to move out and maybe after a while. If he does actually change. I'd give us another chance. I just needed some space to think about things and so I told him we should take a break from each. Other for a while. Nate told me he would talk to his mom as well and that he should have defended me to which I said. Yes you should have. I actually borrowed direct sentences. To explain why he in the wrong from some comments you guys left because it was so helpful. It went better than how I imagined it would go. Also, thank you. Thank you doesn't even begin to cover what I really want to say to everyone who helped me and also to the mods who removed a lot of creepy comments. Thanks for sharing your stories about dancing in your underwear as well. It made me feel better to know I wasn't some freak for enjoying those things. I'm going to use those baking tips you guys gave to me and make cupcakes right now actually because I can. I feel so relieved. Less than three. I'm so happy for you, for taking steps to remain you, in all your glory. What a wonderful update. Yes. Op. When I read your first post I knew immediately that I wish I had a friend like you. You seem so full of light and life and I'm so glad you're taking the steps to make sure you are treated the way you deserve to be. And I'm really glad to hear that Nate wants to change too. Never let anyone keep you from doing what you love. Yay. If it means anything from a random internet stranger. I am proud of you. You deserve better than him. Never stop dancing and baking in your underwear especially if it makes you happy. In your honor I'm going to bake cupcakes and dance in my undies with the music on loud. Colon closing parenthesis. When I read your post I was so concerned by not only his and his family's treatment of you but also by the fact that it was so over the top and he didn't defend you. I'm glad you're taking a break from him because this was insane. You deserve to feel comfortable in your own home and what you were doing isn't bad. 
Many men would be over the moon to have a GF dancing around joyously baking. Keep your head up and don't let anyone dampen your shine. I mean, if this dude is upset by having his GF dancing around in lingerie baking, he really doesn't deserve a GF. There is no point to life if you cannot have fun and do silly things especially in your own home. You rule. This update rules. I commented my thoughts on the original post and I've really been hoping that things would turn out well for you. Enjoy your time to yourself and when the time comes, I hope you find someone who will dance around and bake with you. I'm so proud of you. And even prouder that you didn't let a few tears sway you. What a feeling is such a good song. You are a strong woman. I'm very proud of you and your decision. I hope this helps him reflect on his actions. Nate sounds very much like someone who isn't really sorry for what he did he's just sorry for. Getting caught i.e. you leaving. Did he ever explain to you what nice thing he was doing by bringing half his family over? Unexpectedly? That one still puzzles me. Add me to the list of those who think you should just move on with your life. Don't ever let anyone stifle you or keep you from being yourself just because they don't approve. You need someone to share your life with, not someone who sets the rules and expects you to conform. It would be nice if it was someone who would dance and sing with you as well. Girl. If that guy doesn't think you are the cutest thing in the world and fall more in love with you for that being who you are when people aren't around. He's not your guy. Keep doing you. Don't feel embarrassed. Good for you. Find you a guy that appreciates you. Through college my wife loved singing dancing and baking in her underwear now she's a really good baker and does it with our toddler running around her legs i'm proud of you for leaving i hate to be negative but i don't think that he will ever change i know that his mother will never change and in her eyes you will never be good enough for her son you have lived with him since you were 19. did you start dating him before you turned 18? If so, he was an adult dating a child. And, in my opinion, he thought that he could groom you into what he wanted you to be. Don't compromise anything for any man. Especially doing what makes you happy. You made the correct first step by getting out. Maybe Ida right now, but I sincerely hope that you don't go back to him. Things I lost over the 16 years I was with my Nate. My love for singing. I was always told I was a bad singer. But it was with him that I learned my voice is awful to the point that even I hated to hear it. I didn't sing for almost 16 years except when alone and wearing headphones. Because I couldn't bear it. My independence and approach to DIY. He didn't want to have to do anything to improve the house. And would get annoyed whenever I tried to do anything. So I stopped talking about painting rooms or making them look nicer. And even stopped repairing broken things in the house. Many of which broke because he damaged them during an outburst my enjoyment of scented candles in. Incense. He would always get annoyed and would hate the smell of any I chose. So I didn't use them. My exploration of my weird music tastes. He would listen to his music really loud all day. But if I asked for a turn at playing something I liked, I'd get maybe one, five songs into it before he'd want to change it. For years, the only music of mine I listened to was the stuff I already knew before meeting him. I had no reason to explore new music anyway. My love of dancing. I loved going to places that played my kind of music and dancing wildly to them. But he never wanted to go out with me. And if I went out alone or with friends he'd be calling me after a couple of hours wanting to know when I'd be home. So I just stopped doing it. I stopped dancing at home. 
because he'd complain that I was making too much noise or shaking the house. Then I left him. 18 to 34 years old spent with him and I had to relearn how to be me again. But I did. When I first started singing again. Alone. After I left him. I had to do it with headphones. My voice would crack and crackle from the strain because it was so unused to it. When my current nesting partner heard me sing the first time. Over a year together. By accident when I was washing dishes and didn't know he was home. I was so scared he'd hate it but he was just overjoyed to hear me. Even now. When we're hanging out and I feel brave enough to sing. He'll rest his head on my chest to listen. Because I still can't do it very loudly. After we broke up. It took me six months to realize I could decorate if I wanted. It took a year before I felt ready to try repairing the things he'd broken. But after I did it once. I did it again and again. Now my bedroom is dark blue with copper accents. My craft room is a cheery lilac gray and there's a mural slowly being painted in an alcove. I treated myself to scented candles almost immediately after he moved out. And I'll light them whenever I feel like it. I have so many now. And my home always smells inviting. In the past three years I have discovered literally dozens of bands I never knew about and have gained a reputation among new friends for having an eclectic taste. My new friends will often suggest unusual bands to me to see if I'll like them. My nesting partner loves music, and loves to dance, and if I am in the house dancing to something he always gets up and joins me, because he loves to see me happy, and when I go to watch his band play, I dance all night long. I promise you. As the weeks go by, you'll be amazed how many parts of yourself you never even realized you were putting to sleep have woken up and started blossoming again. I am so glad you've made the move you have, and I hope you get to enjoy your own baking, and trying new recipes, and feeling beautiful in lingerie, and dancing in whatever fun, silly ways you fancy, every day. Info. I feel like everybody is overlooking what really matters in this story. Are these from scratch cupcakes and homemade frosting or is it from box cupcakes and shelf stable? Pre-made frosting that comes in a tub? Do you know you made it to the Try Guys Try Wives, You Can Sit With Us podcast day? I just saw that. And now here you are with an update. HTTPS u2.be slash inkkaivu look. Also, NTA. While I don't exactly agree with everything they said, definitely NTA. You go girl. Tread carefully with Nate from now on. You are still young and fun. Grab your life for yourself. His initial act of confusion on what you were upset about sounds like gaslighting to me. Also, you are the one in control right now. Which is what is his crying about. Don't look back. He's not going to change. This will be a vicious cycle. Congrats on your freedom to dance and bake again. You can't just wear underwear baking. Wear some oven mitts too so you don't burn your hands to hearts. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.